Right, hey folks, uh, as you can see we're in the orchard, blossoms all fully out, um, some nice trees here, uh, <laughs> blessed mole, who's going to get scattered his house, I'd imagine he's under there somewhere, <laughs> looking at it, a nice one there, that's a eater, and uh, that's a family one, a new one. It's got about four different varieties on it. And this one here, hoping it will pick up the color of it. That's a russet, my favorite apple. <laughs> Easiest to prune, everything. It's just a lovely apple if, you, if you're into your apples. And that is the one to go for. The rest down there are pears. Um, even the Bramley's got blossom on this year, which is good. The copper beech, you can see. Look, and the lilacs out, hence the strong winds. That's a gorgeous colour, isn't it? <laughs> Bumbly bee on there. You see him? He... There he is. Hello. <laughs> There's a honeybee there. Just cut all the lawns and just thought I'd do a quick video. It won't be as long as the others. That's if Facebook police allow me to um, <laughs> post it. <laughs> There's that Augustifolium Anguestifolium. Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. And there's that pink one that wasn't out. And Pyrrhus. And a couple of aces in there looking good. And that lovely cerise one. There's a nice deciduous yellow in there as well. And the tree peony is coming out in flower. Yellow flowers on the tree peony in the distance. Turkey oaks all leafed up. colours of the aces there. Some gorgeous colours with the fresh colours on there and the, and the roadies. <laughs> Sorry I've got, <laughs> got real bad hay fever from the rape that's out at the moment. I always get it this time of year so do excuse me if I'm sniffing and, and going. There's another pyrrhus there. There's a couple of pyrrhuses in there. There's a red one and the, and the elbow. All japonicas of some sort, but <laughs> take you up through this earth. The blood reds of the roadies there, and the, the fragrant smell of the choicier. And these azaleas are just starting to burst. Yeah, Agnes. This is a tree peony, in case you've never seen one before. Pretty little flower. Do excuse me a minute. <laughs> a little bit of briny. It's a horrible weed. <laughs> Grows everywhere. Strangulates plants, there you go, sorry. <laughs> and that one there's out of flower. Pretty azalea. <laughs> and turn the corner back in the woodland. And <laughs> it's looking a bit different up in here now. Laburnum's just about a flower. It's got lovely yellow flowers on it. Do excuse me, I'm gonna have to swap arms. Terribly sorry. I've got a... <sighs> that's it. I was getting weak in the right arm then. That's a golden elm. So that shouldn't get the old Dutch elm disease. That's uh, another set of flowerings on that um, Euonymus. 
Judas trees. <laughs> Silver birch might look dead, but it is. There is a bit of life in it, so that might have to come out this year. It's a good bit of burning wood there. And the berberus flowers, they're all coming. Can you see? That's a real strong scent on them as well. There's that cherry. <laughs> and the darling roses. <laughs> My pet hate. And yeah, Melanchia. The purple rear there, the nut. It's got filberts on it. That's about it. Oh, and the Acer. It's got a bit of green up in there, so I'm going to have to whip them bits of green off. But there you go. So just a quick video just to show you what was in colour and what wasn't. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoy and hope the police allow me to post it. Speak to you later. Bye, bye.